There are lots of reasons why progress on poverty and homelessness are hard to come by, but none more pivotal than the hijacking of the issue by political agendas. We got a great example last week with the $18 welfare food challenge. How about this? Eliminating supply management for milk and poultry would be a step in the right direction, given that they add $26 billion per year to Canadians' food bills. That's $300 extra for every low-income family, families on welfare. But you won't hear a word about that because political agendas top poor people every time. All three major political parties support supply management. In other words, support higher food prices for low-income families. So many other examples. The Trans-Pacific Trade Deal would lower the cost of goods, including food, with the removal of 18,000 tariffs. But the positive impact on the poor won't even be a consideration, won't even be put in the balance in deciding whether to support or reject the deal. When it comes to jacking up minimum wage, I can't find a researcher who thinks that's the best way to help the poor. Although some point out it can hurt them if wage increases are passed along in the form of higher prices. Think of the last federal election, not a peep about the poor. It was all about helping the middle class who were already in the best financial position in the world. We're not making any meaningful progress eliminating poverty until two things happen. One, forget politics and put what's best for the poor first. And two, understand that poverty is first and foremost an economic and financial issue with social implications. But sadly, we don't do economics. We only do politics. So presto, no new ideas in decades and no progress. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talks.